Hi, this is Dennis from Ableton, and I'm going to introduce you to the APC Key 25 from Akai Professional. The APC Key 25 is a dedicated controller for Ableton Live, and it comes with a copy of Live Lite so you can get started right away. For this video, I'm going to be using the Suite edition of Ableton Live to demonstrate some additional functionality, which we'll get to later. Live should auto detect the APC Key 25 as soon as you connect it to your computer. You'll know it's working because Live will show a colored ring around an 8x5 block of clips. This ring shows the current clips and tracks that will be controlled by the APC Key 25. If the automatic setup doesn't work, you can fix this in the MIDI sync tab of Live's preferences by choosing APC Key 25 from the Control Surface Chooser and the Input and Output Choosers. The 8x5 button grid represents an 8x5 grid of tracks and clips in Live Session View. Unlit buttons are empty. Amber buttons contain clips. Green buttons contain playing clips. A flashing button has been triggered but hasn't yet launched. If a track is armed for recording, pressing a pad in the button in that track will start overdubbing a recording. A recording pad will be red. Pressing a pad launches the corresponding clip. Pressing an empty pad stops any playing clip in that track. You can launch a whole row of clips at once via the Scene Launch buttons on the right. Or stop the playing clip in a track by pressing the dedicated Clip Stop button for that track. Clip Stop buttons will light red if a clip is playing in that track. Pressing the Stop All Clips button stops all playing clips in all tracks. You can shift the position of the 8x5 button grid by one track left or right, or one scene up or down by holding shift and pressing one of the first four clip stop buttons. These buttons will light red to indicate you can navigate in that direction and will be unlit if there are no more tracks or scenes in the corresponding direction. By default, the knobs control track volumes for the eight selected tracks. You can change what the knobs control by holding Shift and pressing one of the four rightmost clip stop buttons. The options are written under the buttons, and you can hold Shift to see the currently selected mode. To use the knobs to control track panning, hold Shift and press the Pan button. To use the knobs to control track send levels, hold Shift and press the Send button. Hold Shift and press Send again to switch to the next available send. You can continue cycling through all available sends. To use the knobs to control the first eight parameters of the currently selected device, hold Shift and press the Device button. The currently selected device will have a blue hand in its title bar. To learn which parameters can be controlled for each built-in Live device, check the Control Surface lesson in Live's Help View. Holding Shift while pressing one of the Scene Launch buttons changes the functionality of the Clip Stop buttons. The options are written under the buttons, and you can hold Shift to see the currently selected option. To solo tracks, hold Shift and press the Solo button. Then press the corresponding track button. Press multiple buttons at the same time to solo multiple tracks. Press any soloed tracks button again to unsolo all soloed tracks. To arm a track for overdubbing a recording, hold Shift and press the Record Arm button. Then press the corresponding track button. Now you can record or overdub MIDI, audio, or automation into a clip by triggering its clip slot. To mute tracks, hold Shift and press the Mute button. Then press the corresponding track buttons. Muted tracks will have an unlit track button, while active tracks will have a red track button. To change which track is selected, hold Shift and press the Select button. Then press the corresponding track button. The selected track will have a red track button, and its devices or clip detail will be visible in Live. Press and hold the Sustain button to sustain all currently held keys. 
The octave down and up buttons shift the keyboard up or down by octaves. If either button is lit red, that indicates that the range has been shifted at least one octave in that direction. Press both buttons at the same time to reset the range to the default, with the middle C playing C3. Press play pause to toggle the global playback in live. Press record to toggle live's arrangement recording on or off. So that's a quick introduction to using the APC Key 25 with Ableton Live.